Oh, hello, hello. My name is Allison Hill, and I'm a senior data scientist at IBM on the AI strategy and innovation team. Before that, I was a product manager for data science communication at our studio and a professional educator there for three years. And one of the things that I got really, really good at when I was at our studio was building websites, sometimes simple, sometimes silly, and deploying them quickly to Netlify. And then today, Today, December 1st, 2021, I saw that Netlify is offering up a new challenge for the month of December that they're going to donate $150 to some pretty cool charities for every site that you build and deploy with Netlify and then submit to dusty.domains. Uh, and I thought, first of all, what a really cool challenge. Um, I am a strong believer that one can never have too many websites. But also I thought, oh, it would be really cool for me to share some quick videos to help you make some simple and silly websites of your own and make money for charity in the process. So the first one that I wanted to make today for December 1st, so I'm going to try to go for 12. So we're going to see how far we get. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and use one of my favorite R packages, which uses our markdown to make a simple uh, single page HTML site uh, called postcards. So I'm going to start sharing my screen. Let's go for it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the dusty domain site. I'll show you this at the end as well so you can submit it. But dusty.domains is where we're going to. Oh, and then here's the awesome charities, Black Girls Code, STEM Tank, Resilient Coders, and Code 2040. So I'm going to use some materials from my own website, from my personal website. Uh, it's located under Talks. And it's actually a talk that I gave for our studio global back in January of this year. Uh, so it was called Introduce Yourself Online. And it was a uh, multiple day workshop for showing people a lot of different ways that they could introduce themselves online to the website. So that's what I'm going to use. Yikes, that doesn't look right. There we go. <laughs> Oh, not lo-fi. All right. So under materials, it was actually under day one, and it was a section called YR Markdown. So that's what I'm going to use to kind of ground myself to make sure that I keep following all the right prerequisites. So I haven't done this in a while, and I haven't done this on my computer in a while. So, uh, all right. So the first thing that we want to do is install the postcards package. So postcards is an R package developed by Sean Cross. I really love it because it's a really nice, streamlined, simple way to make a single page website for your personal use. So you can see some of the example sites from Sean's um, GitHub README. So this one is using a theme called Hoya. Uh, so you can see it's just a simple image. It has your name, has a little bio, and then some social links, which is kind of all you need, right? Uh, there's a few different styles. So here's Hoya Blue. Same thing but blue, obviously. Trestles, I think this one, it's kind of the left and the right thing. Same thing though, but you can now kind of list maybe a few more things like education and experience if you wanted to. And no free. Ah, this is the one that's like a gradient, a little common. And Solana, ooh, this one's new to me. Ooh, very nice, I like it, Sean. Very cool. All right, and so that's what we're gonna build. That's what we're gonna make. And you can see that Sean provides you with the only function that you need, which is postcards, create postcard. Uh, and you can use all of these different templates. I'm gonna try Solana, because that's kind of fun. All right, uh, and I haven't made it before. So look out world. All right, so first I'm going to open up a new instance of our studio and I'm gonna install the postcards package. And it doesn't really matter what you're in. I'm in a book chapter project right now, but I'm just going to install the package. Cool. All right, now I'm going to do the first thing, which should always be your first step, is to go to github.com and create a new repository. So see this little green button over here? I'm logged in, obviously. So I'm going to select new repository, and I'm going to call this a one postcard. I'm going to make it public. Uh, I'm going to leave the description. I'm going to add a readme. This is a critical step. Do not forget to do that. I'm going to forget about the get ignore and the license for now. Um, and I have my default settings uh, set up so that main is my default branch. Um, so if you have other settings, you might want to change those so that main is your default branch. So I'm just going to create this repository. It's just going to be empty for now with a readme. Voila. So I'm going to go over to this little code button. I'm going to use HTTPS. And I'm going to just copy that 
I'm going to go back over into our studio. I'm in another project, but I'm going to go over to file new project. And I'm going to select version control. That's critical. Get, and then I'm going to paste that in there. So it says the project directory name, and then it's going to go inside documents inside my data science projects, which is probably a good place for it. Um, I'm not going to open in a new session because I want to close this one out. So I'm going to click create project. Lovely. So now we have just a simple project. It does have a readme that I made in the GitHub UI, but it's essentially empty. So we're ready. We have the postcards package. Let's make sure it's loaded or let's make sure that it's there and it's been installed. Yes. All right, cool. So I'm going to go back over here, make sure I haven't missed anything. Let's check out the package version. Ah, 0.2.2, perfect. I think that's good to go. Um, I've done this. I've created my GitHub repository. I've cloned it. I haven't done a first commit and push. I'm just kind of good for there. Uh, I am going to now create a postcard though. So uh, I've already loaded the postcards package. I don't need that, but I do need this create postcard function. And now I saw that there was that new template. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Let's go here. And then the function argument was template. And I think it was Sonofre. Or am I rhyming? I'm making uh, one up by combining an Ofre and Sono something. <laughs> Solana. <laughs> All right. I did quite the combo there. Solano. Okay. Lovely. So what it did is it created that postcard. I'm going to minimize this. And you can see that it's filled in with some stuff that is familiar for our markdown users. So you've got your YAML filled in with the title. That appears to be what the name um, that showed up on the rendered HTML site. Let's look at that one again. Solana. The name, uh, these are all your little buttons. You've got a little avatar there, bio, whatnot. So all of that stuff is in there. So why don't we just go ahead and make this one, even though I can't pronounce her name. Siglor, your doctor. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and knit this for one so that we can see the local preview. And knitting does something really, really important. So I'm going to knit to postcards. Um, it's using postcards to knit it, pops up. This is actually what it looks like kind of on mobile, I think. I think if you expand it out, yeah, it looks a little bit different. Um, so this is in the RStudio viewer. I don't love how the RStudio viewer renders HTML. Oftentimes it can look a little bit different than how it actually looks deployed. So um, I am going to, whoops, I closed it. I'm gonna knit it again. And then this time I'm gonna open in the browser. Wonderful. So this is the actual HTML file that I just made. And if we go back to my project, look at the files, you can see that there's index.rmd and then index.html. And the index.html is the thing that Netlify knows about. Netlify doesn't know what to do with an RMD file, so don't try to give it to it. So I'm going to commit just everything all at once, which is not bad, not a great practice, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, first draft postcard. I'm going to commit that and push it and let's check it out. It should end up here. Perfect. Lovely. So now it's there, but nobody can see it. I can knit it locally and generate the HTML, but I can't share this easily with other people. I could sure send people to this GitHub site, but it's a little frustrating to be sent to a GitHub site to look at an HTML file. Nobody can see this. I could deploy it with GitHub pages, but we're gonna use Netlify for this because they're gonna give $150 to charity for doing this silly website. So we've got the source code though in our GitHub. And that's the first ingredient that we really need. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into Netlify. Netlify.com. I'm gonna to choose to log in. I log in with my GitHub. That's how my Netlify is set up. Whoops, it looks like our studio is still giving me access. Uh -oh. All right. So in my, uh, my own team, this is my personal team. I have a ton of sites. Um, I could make a lot of money for charity here. <laughs> um, but what I wanna do is actually set up a new site. One more site. <laughs> okay, so new site from Git, GitHub. 
unauthorized. Okay, oh, and there's a one postcard right at the top, perfect. So I'm gonna select that, branch to deploy main because all the source code is actually in there. It's just in there in the main branch, not even in the subfolder, it's fine. Um, there's no build involved because we've, we've actually had our, um, our the postcards package build it for us. So when we knitted the file, uh, you saw that it knit to postcards. So it's creating the HTML file for us. So there's no build involved because we're already giving it um, a built site, a built HTML file. Deploy to site, deploy in progress. I love this view in Netlify. Always gives me such joy because at the end, it gives you a little star emoji, like your site is live, wonderful. So let's go back. Ooh, I always feel like the Netlify random domains are like a little fortune cookie. So upbeat current, that's kind of a, a good one. So if I click on it, voila, there's our wonderful site. So now we can go back, we can change some things, I can customize it. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll make it a really silly site. I'm trying to think of who I can make a, I could make it for my little emu. Her name is Charlene. So I'll save that image. Charlene. Going to copy it here, and then I'm I'm lost in my documents. DS projects, one postcard, paste it in here. Now I see sigridur.jpg. So let me go back to the actual R Studio. Ah, I see where it says image. Okay, cool. So I can just put Charlene there now. Oh, there's Charlene, and then it's JPEG. Just like Let's do Charlene knit email. Okay, and then I'm gonna delete this other JPEG so I don't need it anymore. Okay, so now the only thing that's a little bit annoying is that you have to keep knitting to be able to see it every time. Ah, there we go. Charlene the email, perfect. So Charlene could have a resume. Yeah, she could be on LinkedIn. She could have a medium post, but why would she have medium when she could use blog down? Uh, SoundCloud. Twitter, yeah, probably all those things. Bio, um, let's see. I'll copy my bio from here. It looks a little bit less interesting than the one that was there before, but we'll stick with it. Um, so here for Twitter, you would add your actual link. Mine is a Press Hill. I'm gonna delete SoundCloud. Who do I think I am? Um, my actual blog is, Um, um, oh, I have a resume. What other links do I have here? GitHub, maybe. That's APRES Hill, too, so that's easy to remember. Let's change this to GitHub. I think it's github.com slash APRES Hill Network. And then education. Oh, God, this is exhausting. I won't change that because <laughs> I don't feel like going through all of that. Um, ugh doing all the education stuff. Um, it's almost as exhausting as doing it. And then the experience. Okay, so maybe I'll put like um, AI strategy and innovation. New data scientist. It was October 2021 to present. And then before that, it was our studio. Manager. I'm not going to do this whole thing. Don't worry about it. Science communication. I mean, that was roughly like the 2020. I'm just going to keep the rest of this. Save. Knit. My daughter's home. <laughs> All right, cool. I've done it. I re it. That's a really important thing. Don't just edit the RMD and then push to GitHub because you haven't actually changed the rendered file yet. So if we go over to the, my Git pane, you can see that my index.html changed. Okay, so I'm going to commit this. I'm going to do the images first. Image. And then 
my daughter's speaking in tongues. Update postcard. Close. Whoosh. Let's go for it. We should see this image update. Cool. Now, the very cool thing is that this is my local preview. I'm going to close that. Um, what we should see over here is that upbeat current changes. Ah, there it goes. OK, so it's starting up. So it detected that I pushed to main. It detected that there's something new, build ready to start. So now Netlify is going to make me wait a little bit because the other one was so speedy and so fast. Uh, this one shouldn't take too long, but it does say that Netlify's robots are busy building and deploying our site to the CDN. So got to wait for it. Um, and this is kind of one of my favorite things about Netlify is to be able to watch it build and see it go. Um, this is going to be a little bit slower. Maybe there's other people taking advantage of the challenge as well. So in the meantime, maybe what I should do, I'm going to keep this open so I can see when it actually decides to build. Uh, build ready to start. It's taking forever. Um, let's make sure that I actually did everything that I was supposed to. So in the, my workshops, I usually talk about the anatomy of the, the actual source file. And so I talk about the YAML as the metadata, and that's exactly how the postcards package works, similar to our markdown. Um, so you actually have kind of more the YAML about yourself, your own personal metadata. And then this output postcard Solana is what um, the, the theme, uh, what determines the theme. So if you wanted to change it, you could change it to different ones. Um, so like we could do this to, um, what was one, Hoya. And now this obviously won't change anything that I'm deploying because I'm not going to push and change this, but oh, you can see it gives me a little oval. Um, it does actually include the bio and the education experience. Um, and then you can see my links down at the bottom. So I'm going to change it back to Solana because I actually liked that one. That was pretty cool. So these are pretty bare bones. The things I like about them is that you don't have to worry too much about styling because the out of the box styling is just pretty neat. Uh, and you don't have to kind of obsess about that. Oh, now if I. So let me get back to my notes, make sure I did everything right. So we knitted it, we committed and pushed, we edited the postcard. Um, you can publish to GitHub pages. Um, there's some instructions for how to do that here. Uh, I also have some instructions in my workshops for how to use, use this package to configure GitHub pages. Um, but Netlify is usually really fast, except for right now, of course. You gotta be kidding me. So the previous one was deployed in four seconds, I'll have you know. But now we'll just wait. So I'll show y'all how to put, um, put a postcard inside of a distill site which is a um, pretty easy way to get a personal professional website going. Uh, I can show you some examples of some really good ones. Let's see, I think Ted Ladaris had stuck with his distill site. Yes, here's Ted Ladaris. So here's his postcard. So he's using that, um, that one that had the left, Hermes, it was the one that Frank Hermosillo, <laughs> the, um, that was the um, example person that the site was for. Let's see, what was it? Was it Anafre? Was it trestles? No, it was trestles. Trestles. Yeah. Okay. So Ted is using um, trestles here. Um, let's see. And then she also has a really great distill site using a postcard at the front. Let me check back in. Notify. Man. Uh, and then, ooh, piping hot data. Shannon Pelegi also has. Go. There's Shannon's friendly face. Uh, so these are all people who have used the combo of postcards and the distill site. So what I'm showing you right now was just to do a simple postcard um, that kind of links out to everything, but you can also do a postcard within a distill site, and I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and wait for Netlify. Do we need some music?
goodness gracious. Oh, it's going. <laughs> Fantastic. Site is live. Let's refresh. <sighs> okay. All right. So we got Charlene the emu up. She's got some GitHub links. Let's see if they work. Yep. Blog. Okay. So I did them all right in Twitter. Um, so that's how you make a postcard and that's how you deploy it to Netlify. Now let's go back and finish the job. So upbeat current, you know, maybe you want to change that. Maybe you want to make it more personal. So I'm going to change the site name. Um, so let's try a beat new mode. Do you think it's available? Oh, wonderful. All right, I'm going to submit a beat new right now. My name. Twenty twenty one. All right, and then I am going to. Stop sharing so I can enter my email address. And oh, Netlify says they're dusting off their machines. All right. Let's see what it looks like when I submit. Okay, I'll share my screen again. All right, so I just bought a domain and shipped the project in the same dang year. Please clap. Check out my site that contributed $150 to charity, beatemu.netlify.app. All right, so that's it. That's a wrap. Thanks for joining me.